All right. So, ah, this feels like a throwback from season one. We are going to try to do another flag on the play type of episode. Welcome back to Life with G. It's your girl G, the Puerto Rican podcast princess, your favorite baby mama in the building. And Shelly always starts us off. What's up, y'all? It's Shelly Shell, your favorite podcast, Vixen, the one with the beauty and the looks that's going to keep on wishing. Ow, ow, Miss Vicky Cartel. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Vicky. You know, the ones that keep it real 100 all the time. Go ahead, Zo. What it do? You know what it is. You know what it ain't. Hey, yeah, you the UK, Zo, checking in. All right, and JR in the building. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? My name's JR, man. I'm just here for the good times, man. What's good? We got somebody new, ladies. Fresh meat. Fresh meat. Yeah, yum, yum, yum. Oh. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan, and I don't eat. Oh, meat. Lord. I eat you cheese. know what? Here you we know go. What? <laughs> well, I feel like tonight's topic is going to get a little spicy, but this is going to be talking about that natural beauty that men love to say that they like, fellas. How do you feel about women and makeup? Go ahead, bro. <laughs> All right, bet. I'll definitely let us start this off. You know what I'm saying? I think, um, I think makeup's a beautiful thing. I think it's a beautiful industry. It's a billion dollar industry and still growing. I think uh, most men don't truly care about makeup or non-makeup as long as we like what we see. And um, yeah, that's what I think about it. I also think it is a way of deception. I do think it is a lie, but I've already accepted it as a man, so I'm cool with it. Deception. Okay. Yeah, I, I I second I second everything he pretty much said. Um, I gotta like you without it. And if you add it, then okay, it's a plus. Okay, you're in whatever you're in handsome, whatever. But they don't really. I prefer natural, but if you want to wear makeup, okay. What do you consider natural though? Just your natural look, like how you wake up in the morning. I mean, like after you actually like shower and brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what's, that's, that's the hygiene. That's besides the point. You so you're gonna, okay but you, I mean, your... like, you gonna brush your hair naturally? You gonna naturally want to brush your hair like shit like that? But yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, that's fair, ladies. What do you guys think about makeup? Do we even care what men think about our makeup? Because I know me personally, I don't. When I say I don't care, I mean, obviously, I want to look good. I do it oh, because oh, I feel like oh, it makes oh, me look oh, better. So let me, oh, oh y'all seen the faces. Y'all can't see the faces. Oh, I've seen the faces. Was, These fellas look like they're about care. to go in on me. So I do care. Let me take it back. Oh, okay. I do care. But at the same time, if a man's like, yo, that's because I don't feel like I do too much. So if a man looks at me and he's like, you're doing too much, you know, do less, uh, he can go on somewhere. This makes me feel pretty. What about you, ladies? Uh, damn. Uh, I do a lot. Um, my boyfriend doesn't really care, but I actually take what he says into consideration. So if he doesn't like me wearing a lot of makeup nine times out of 10, he'll never really voice it. He won't be like, hey, baby, you know, you did too much today. No, he likes it. He likes it when I do it. But I know that he prefers me to be natural. So majority of the time, I'm really natural around him unless we're going out to dinner or we're going to an event or something like that. Then that's when I'm like super, super glammed up, Vicky. Other than that, he just likes plain original. Do I care? Yes, I do care. Hi, Shelly. I care as long as he continues to allow me to be true to myself. Um, out of the three women that are on here, I'm probably more along the natural side because I only wear makeup for pretty much the podcast or maybe if I'm going out on a date and this is mm -hmm. not like just an average date. It has to be like a date date. Um, other than that, I despise makeup. I grew up, didn't like it. And, but I, understood that as a woman sometimes i have to put a little judge on this mm. to match the atmosphere now if i got with a man and only thing he says oh i want you to wear makeup all the time like kind of like mirroring what g said he's gonna have to go because that's not yeah. me being true to myself wait, wait, wait he has to go absolutely absolutely like, if that's his go go if that's his deal breaker what else can he saying go? I mean, let's let's think about it this way. If that's his deal breaker, oh, I only want to see you in makeup. For one, I'm questioning whether or not you then like me for me. 
or do you like me for the facade that I have to put on when I have to do all that zhuzhin? Is that a problem? Then, absolutely. If you don't like me for me, even without the the polish on it, then it, that is a huge problem. Because okay. let me ask you. If if I may, I'm gonna ask you something. So when you go on a date, right? You're gonna this a date date, what you called it, a date date. You're gonna look amazing, make up good, dress nice, smell great, and this guy is gonna see you be the best you you possibly are, right? Like performance Correct. wise, everything you're enhanced of all like abilities. Correct. That's what he initiate. Like that's what he saw first. So no. for him to say, "This is what I love right here. I love this. It's putting forth effort. It's putting forth uh, accountability in your everyday life of being pre present and being, you know, you know, you know what they say. Uh, what is it? Um, perspective, so perspective, or perspective yeah. is reality. Yeah. And then you putting forth that reality all the yeah. time. I would only assume that he would appreciate it and love it to a high degree. But then you're telling me that because he loved what you presented to him at the very beginning, it's a go-go if he loves it too much. Okay. Now I that's don't understand not actually, it. That's how you got them. Sure, but that's actually not how I got them. Because once again, mm. I only mm. do it like okay. this. I, that's not how I got them. That's not how I got them. That's not how I'm going to keep them. Like I said, okay. most of the time, the men that I meet, I am 100% natural. And then I'll polish it up every once in a while. But if he comes in and says, you know what? I know this is how I met you. You was plain face, Jane. You had on some sweats and some baggy clothes. But I really like it when you always dress like this. But that's not my natural persona. That's not who I am. Now, if we can come to a healthy balance, possibly. But if he's like, he wants me diamond every single day, meaning he don't want to see me with a piece of crust in my eyes. Yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem. I think so that's you want him to see though. you with crusty eyes. <clears throat> Listen, if I can You want can, him to love your crusty eyes. That's right. You're gonna love my crusty eyes <laughs> and my morning breath because I'm gonna do the exact same okay. to you. No, I okay, flag on the play. If a man is presenting himself as crusty, dusty, and musty, we do not want him. We what do you do not him? want them. Where it work at? Where it we work do at? not want them. And Where and half the work? time, because be okay, tired. we all have a girl chat, right? We all talk to each other openly about girl, you wouldn't believe what this man showed up to this dating, or girl, you wouldn't believe what he did. So we know how it is. We have those conversations all the time where we judge we a man on his looks, we judge a man on his presentation. So we can't even say that. Shelly, I do want to go, I just want to say, I do commend you for that because I will never, I, I don't, I don't, the only person who really know me, know me like that would be Shelly and G and G really, really know me. I have never ever stepped out the house not looking like a Barbie. And for me, it was just, it's like trauma because of the men, the type of men that I've been with because the, the because of their caliber, who they are, I can't go out the house looking bummy. I think the issue for a lot of women is the amount of backlash that we get when you guys see us in our actual natural state because it can get pretty ugly, which is where I'm going to go to our example. And I just want to see what y'all's opinions are. So give me one All second, right. let me pull that yeah. up. I can't wait for this. I want to see this. Who this up? All right. So what happened was this young woman went to one of her homegirls to get her makeup done. The girl's on IG. She posts the before and after of her homegirl before the makeup, after the makeup. And she starts getting dragged on social media. So this is the original post in question. Y'all can see that? <gasps> I've seen it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she like in Miami. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Now, fellas, I just before we get into anything else, y'all can see that. What is your opinion of that picture? Oh, a lot don't care who tell it. Oh, no, no, no. I was gonna say oh, that's a no, whole no, no, it no. is a lie, though. It's a lie. That's, oh. that's not Bitch, just you lie to me. You lied to me. <laughs> this <shit>. Oh no. <laughs> Bitch, you lied to me. What Deception thing, is real. One thing I can say I need is, to meet you. I need to I meet you like the left. Not the right. <laughs> Let me. But if you did meet her like the left, because this is something that I want people to really think about, and I could definitely play a big factor. If you met her like the left, would you still approach her? Be honest. 
If she got a nice body, probably so. I just said it. I was just like, if she got a nice body, she gonna get approached by hella people. That's that's a real question though. She got she got a fat ass. She probably got some nice, you know what I'm saying? Upper body too. You know what I'm saying? Her teeth look good. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. I probably still wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, take her serious, but recreational use? Oh yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you take her serious? Wow. <laughs> because of her you natural state, you wouldn't take her serious because if that's how she looks naturally, you wouldn't take her serious. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I fought with you, bro. I fought with you. But then, no, 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 no. Because I, well, wanted, I mean, respectfully, though. Respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah. respectfully. Okay, but like, yeah. but why? She's not very attractive. Respectfully. But to you, though, you can't say that. Like, say yeah. you gotta say that part. Like, to you, she's not really that attractive. Because well, I mean, I'm gonna if say the to world me, is she's dragging not... her, I can only assume a lot of other people would think so too. So no, I think they're dragging her because that's not the same person. Like, I don't care. What <laughs> it's the same person. No, that's the same that's person, not, bro. The same person. Like, it's no, 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 no. Of course, that's the same. That's the same <laughs> human being. That's the same flesh. But one yeah. person got a mask on, and. That's not the same. <laughs> I'm, look, look. Shut I get up. what you're saying. I get what you're saying. <laughs> that the they're they're person. they're dragging her because of the deception. Yeah, I'm saying like that's catfish. That, you catfish yeah, like, me. Recreational. <laughs> well, whose fault but if, is that? But if men are going to routinely look at her in her natural state, because let's get into the why some women wear makeup in the first place, it is Don't to try to attract a man. If a man is meeting her, if y'all are agreeing with what seems to be most of social media mm -hmm. and their, their uh, what is it called? Their frustration with the deception that is makeup, then that means she's probably doing makeup because when she was walking around like that, she wasn't accepted, she wasn't hit on, she wasn't desired. Yeah, yeah, it's called natural selection. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying like, like, I can't somebody, get mad at that. I somebody mean, love you, baby. I'm I'm just being real with you. At the end of the day, a guy, <laughs> a guy is let's say he's five foot two. You know what I'm saying? A lot of he's not gonna get many women. He's born that way. It's nothing you could do about it. Guess what? Oh well, you gotta come in different, you gotta go make a lot of money then to get more women. You gotta do other things to get more uh options. If her options are very low, which I'm telling you now, there's still many of people that would still smash, but if her options are very low. Then she has to do other things, be more, I don't know, uh friendly, polite, all I don't know, whatever, whatever men like. And then she'll probably get more options though. But by looks, no, she's probably not gonna get a lot of options. That's Definitely compared to but what if she was smiling? Because she's you she know something something very no, happy. Talk, what if she talk. was smiling? The thing is about it, the thing is about it, wh whoever she could get looking like the person on the on the right, she's still gonna get the same results because when they She's gonna do exactly what Vicky said earlier. Like she's gonna have to wake up super early. The man can never see her like that, ever. Yeah. Because once he do see her, you're gonna get the same result. Or hopefully he time. likes her enough at that point that he doesn't. No, get that ain't happening. That's that gonna get tired. Happen. That's gonna get tired. That ain't happening. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. He's not gonna like her. If he's gonna nah. like her, he's gonna have he to gonna meet like, her how she gonna be is. Like, he's gonna, gonna have to meet her how she. He's going to have to meet her how she is or what could happen is he has to really get to know her. And that's just, I mean, my boyfriend was just talking about this. She had to have a personality. And nine times out of 10, that's a 50-50 gamble with women who will look like her on the right. It's not like she's not unattractive. The only thing that's unattractive about her, I would say, is the discoloration. Obviously, something's going on. Um, she could have like a skin no, disorder. She got makeup on could, the no, no. What I'm saying is, no, she doesn't. Because the left, no, no, the left and the right, they, they still, they still <laughs> droop him. They still drooping. They still drooping. She still got. She got. What does makeup have to do with the dripping? Oh no, no, no. And 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 I just want to. And I just want to just clarify, men. You guys don't know, but if a woman's makeup has to be dragged past her neck, then her skin, the the the, the makeup artist is trash. She's not matching it. It shouldn't go far. It should go here, and that's it. It should not go all the way down here. It should just be here, the face. So if well, it's going all the way down here, then her that. makeup artist is trash. No, nothing's no on the uh, well, something no, something is clearly wrong with her skin on the right. I mean, I'm sorry, on the left. She has some type of skin discoloration. It could be some kind of skin disorder. She could have something going on. All the reason why I say that is because I'm a cosmetologist and I do this every day. So she clearly has something going on with her skin. But that doesn't take away the that doesn't take away the fact that. Well, I don't think people understand really about makeup. All it does is 
How can I say this? Um, Don't lie, because I'm looking at makeup right okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, no, okay, no, no. I wanna, I wanna clearly say, like, whoever her makeup artist is, I clear, I wanna meet you because your work is. Wow, I would love to have you do my makeup. <laughs> it's it's, it's this girl. Phenomenal. It's Asia underscore makeup artistry. It's her. She, it's her. she, she, she's phenomenal. She does phenomenal work, what? and she, oh, she does. So, so this is her. This is her promoting herself. No, 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 this is a different, this is, some, no, no, no. this is one of her clients. Hold this on, is wait. her promoting her work. This oh. is how the girl got dragged. She posts, she posts her client. She says, look at this. Look what I did before and after. Look how beautiful. And instead of like this warm reception, the man got a hold of this and dragged her. They only drag her because of the, it's all her eyes are still the same. They only drag her because of the skin tone. Skin color and then the nose. I feel oh, like yeah. there's eyes some the Photoshop same. going on as well, though. Eyes, I, eyes are the same. Eyes are the same. I don't You're think the eyes you are don't the same. Know. I don't think the eyes are, well, at least no, the way the know. eyelashes or is an angle there as well. Plus, her hair's in the front. The lighting is different as well. Uh -oh, flag there's a play. lot of factors. Flag it on the play. I just too. put my pin on the picture. Her eyes are closer together on the right. And on the left, her eyes are too far apart. Do not try to play. That could me. also be the from the contour part. because they contour it's the her contour. nose smaller. Yes, um, yes, yes. You can make so somebody can, nose smaller. Yeah, that right. Is, which is the, the trick of the light, the trick of the shades and stuff like that. So I do want to say that, but it would not surprise me if there was some sort of filter in yeah. general on this and yeah. or slight Photoshop to, to, to do what it's doing because it, she does look a lot more symmetrical Captain. and makeup yeah. can do a lot, but makeup... When it comes to it being symmetrical, that's difficult to get it that perfect. Um, I agree. So I, I will say that I don't think it's a total catfish. But I have a question it, though. For a some, as someone as someone who doesn't wear makeup that that often, and my make my makeup will never look like that because I don't do all that contouring and stuff. So my question is for G and Ashley, since you guys do that, you said that makeup can't make it look symmetrical. Isn't that one of not that symmetrical, but it's, not, it's still possible though, right? Or is it just not possible at all? So it's possible you can make your cheekbones higher. You can make your lips look fuller. You can make your nose look slimmer and you can also make your eyes look bigger. Mm -hmm. However, if you got a sleepy eye, and a wolf eye is going to be sleepy and still woke. I want to say that as well. I don't think anybody at the naked eye is like naturally seen in 4K HD with studio lights beaming down. So when you see her in person, nine times out of ten, she's probably not going to look as like Rough. as intense as it does there. Because that's not how we see each other in everyday natural lighting and things like that. That's that's not realistic. So it is hyper focusing. And when it comes to cameras like that, mm -hmm. lighting like that, it will amplify the imperfections. I just want to mm -hmm. say that as well. Oh. Poor thing. Um, so just now that we poor thing. <laughs> poor thing. I feel bad for her because I'm like, that could happen Ooh. to me for sure, for sure. Um okay, so I'm going to now share the post. This one in particular I found, and he was definitely rough on shorty so i just want us to listen to that as women and fellas i'm sure you'll agree with them but let's see i might agree with them i don't think i completely would agree with them but it's a possibility let's be honest you know i mean you guys were already saying some pretty similar comments so we we shall mm -hmm. see are y'all ready now the girls in the comments i will say are going in on him <laughs> but let's just listen to what he has to say all right i gotta talk about this because y'all love to say men will mess with anything and i feel like sometimes that's like there's a there's a blurred line right there because this is completely different from this right here like those are two completely different people right there this is a young very beautiful young lady and this is a thug right here so that's a that's a tough one right there that is a thug she Runs the block, cell block. That looks like a mugshot. She looks. That's 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 why that the. I can see how a man could be with this, and then find out that's actually this, and then people be like, "Ooh, that's who you mess with." It's almost like when you have kids with somebody, 
and your baby mama let herself go, then like, yo, that's your baby mama? You were just out here doing it like, hey, bro, look, look, look. She didn't look like that when we first got together. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, with that being said, y'all need to ease up on us, man, you know. Because now I'm seeing, you know, this... It, it could be some discrepancies here, you know. There's, there's, there's more to talk about. There's more going on than meets the eye. Okay. Now that now that we've had that lovely video, <laughs> wow. I'm watching. So y'all can't see, but I'm watching the women's reaction and I'm watching the men's reaction, and it is a little bit different. At a certain point, all the women got like this. Um. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let is <laughs> what is what he said. Is how he said. He's like, this is a beautiful young Terry. This is a thug. <laughs> I didn't find that funny. Oh, oh that was hilarious. I didn't, find it, I didn't find it funny at all. Well, well of course, all right, because why? he's making fun of a woman. You're you're, you're not supposed not to. Not at all. Not at all. No, because Shelly wasn't was making fun of a woman. No, he was, but you said I was supposed. I'm not supposed to. Shelly was laughing and G was laughing, and they're women as well as I am. So has nothing to do with me being a woman. No, it has but, something to do with them. Something's wrong with them for laughing. Nothing right. wrong with you for not laughing, because that's no, how a normal woman would not do. What? Not what? Not laugh? Yeah. I don't think so. I think women, some women would laugh because they would find out what he thinks is funny. I just don't think it's funny. I just The women are destroying him on the chat. Like what A lot think? of women are destroying on the comments. I don't think he said anything... It was disrespectful. Don't you play? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that that's it wasn't. I'm, I'm not gonna that's say that it wasn't it. disrespectful. But I've definitely compared to the other things that maybe I'm just desensitized because I was scrolling a lot mm. and looking at reactions. So compared to the other commentary from men, he he took it light on her. Um, but a lot of those posts I didn't want to share on here because they were pretty pretty foul. Um, oh yeah. But Vicky. Talk a little bit about your reaction and how you felt watching that. So I'm so happy you asked. So um, certain reactions or certain things that certain, I go by who says the comment, who is it coming from? The certain man that it's coming from. Because if all 50 men says, oh, she's ugly, I'm gonna look at all 50 of the men that's saying someone's ugly. Because out of all 50, somebody's bitter, somebody's mad, all 50 gonna still smash. Let's just be real. If she got the body, all 50 are going to smash. And even out of the 50, 30 of them are still going to smash regardless if she got a nice body or not. Because you're just fucking men and she has a vagina. So let's just be realistic about that. So that's why I didn't think it was funny. Because I'm looking at him like, I don't even want to really, I hate saying, you know, the N-word, but nigga, the bitch on the right ain't going to give you the motherfucking shock. If I look, on, if I look at the girl on the right, I, you would be the last of my worries. I wouldn't be worried about you're not the fish I'm trying to catch, looking like B. Mm, I don't know if she, if you look like if, if if a girl on the right only looked that way on Friday and Saturday, I'm pretty sure she got no that not that many options if she looked like the left Monday through or Sunday through Thursday. I'm just gonna be real. And if her options not that much, it's a good chance she can get pulled by the same guy, even the light skinned dude that's talking smack. She probably could get pulled by him. You know what she I'm saying? Could. I'm going to look like an asshole because since I was presenting and people were laughing quietly and it's going to show me laughing the entire time. It's not going to show any of you. <laughs> it's only going to show me. So I'll take it. I'll, I'll take the heat. But I also want to say like, I'm the type of female that will show both very early on. I, cause the last thing I want is the reaction that y'all two had that he had that would just kill my spirit. So I'm going to show you what I look like without makeup, very very early on and i'm not gonna think twice about it because either you like it or you don't and then we can get past that's, that and keep it pushing that's but acceptable though that, right you get what I'm that saying? being like, said that being said i am comfortable with my imperfections i laugh at myself and i have always liked dudes with a sense of humor and i love when my man or I love that roasting session back and forth. I love that like pick on me type shit. So I find humor in that because that honestly sounds like something a dude hey, that, may that, be that, like, that, hey, that you toxic. and your big ass head over there. Nah, that's toxic. I wouldn't say that's toxic. <laughs> I don't but think that's it's toxic, but I engage that in that. Has I think a it's sense funny. of humor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you can't you're you, right. You can't take but a joke. That's toxic. 
Or or, or, or or like you feel me? Like as a guy, like as long as I can make fun of you too, and as long as it's not yeah. like not as long as it's feelings. not to the point where you're like, okay, now you don't got super, super, super like crazy. Now and there is a difference because that's a man that I know that I'm fucking with versus a complete stranger online. So I do yeah. want to say that, but yeah. um, I think that's why I'm a little. I I laughed because it sounds like some shit me and some dude I'm talking to might go back and forth with. No, I just didn't find it funny because I'm just like at the end of the day, no real man is going to sit up here and say they will sleep. When they say, oh, women always say men will sleep with anything. They will. They will. They will. To so an extent. That's, not, so, not all men. To an extent. So this, okay, so when you say not all men, this is where statistics come in. Okay, so that means uh -huh. it's uh -oh. outweighs of what you're saying. Uh -huh. Which uh -oh. makes it a true fact. So that's let's just say that. Um, flag on a play. Nope. Flag on a play. Got to throw that's it. What, I, that's that's I, what statistics I, 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 is. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold hey, on. whoa, whoa, whoa. Flag, flag well, Vicky, was thrown. We we gotta let him finish. Okay. Thank you. Just for you to know, you're absolutely right. I just want to express this out that of course we're speaking in generalities. So when Zoe, when you say not all men, it's already kind of put in there. That when she says men, she's not actually talking about all men. She's just talking about the majority of them. So we definitely want to understand that we are speaking in generalities. So I get what you're saying, Vicky. I do get, you, get what you're saying. Trust me. Men will normally sleep with anything. Most of them. Yeah. I want to throw a yellow flag on the play. Not a, not a full red flag. I want to throw a yellow flag. Only because nowhere in his video, unless I missed it, nowhere in the video did he talk about was she fuckable. And nowhere in the comments did I see, or in any of the other videos, y'all can check it out. You guys see the ads and everything on there. Um, I never heard any man talk about whether or not she was fuckable. The, what they're talking about is if I see you like this and I have no idea what that other side looks like when I see that other side, now I've, now I'm upset. We can think how we want to think about that, but I guarantee you, you're right. I bet you all of them would still smash, but that's not what they're complaining about. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. She's she's gonna get demoted though. Like when I approach her on yeah, the right, absolutely. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's no. wifey. No, but no, then no. after I see the left, oh she's getting demoted for sure. And she's if she demoted. was really, and if she was a true uh uh perceptionist, if that's a word, you won't ever see the one on the right. Until you guys get halfway married and you have to throw her. That's why, that's why I mean, you ever heard like men be joking, I'm going to throw her ass in the pool. I'm going to put her in the pool. That's what he would have to do in order for her to see that. Hey, I, I, got, no. I got trust issues. And, and, and you can't, you can't lie to me like that. I don't understand. And, you know, but, and, we, and we have trust issues too as well. We trust you to stay on the camera. But you get up for coconut milk and all your beverages. Amen. And thank all you, that Jesus. Shit. So guess what? Say it again. You Vicky. probably put all the trust issues on yourself. Uh, there you go. There you go, go. <laughs> there, there you go, Zoe. There you go, Zoe. Don't let her talk to you like that. I'm sad. Like... <laughs> Y'all can't see it. He tried to walk off. He came back, though. He I did. appreciate he it. He did. I appreciate it. All right, you. so what if I walk off and I take the phone with me? No, stay no, stationary. I right, don't respect him then. Don't try to play him. Respect <laughs> don't him say then. that don't count. <laughs> no, the problem is there's no communication. And you'll just like dip mid conversation and then you'll be bought back in and then you'll insert yourself and you don't miss 20 minutes of it. And you know what? And how you said it, G, the she could do like that. You could use that same scenario with her. Mm hmm. With the makeup and how she looks, and you know, you, well, you know, you was here, but then you got up and left. So this is when I was really natural, but you weren't here for it. So now I don't put it back on. I gave her opportunity, but now <laughs> you know, fucked it up. Cool. Hey, I'm cool with that. I'll get all the way to the altar and be cool with that. I'll sign the paperwork and be cool with that. But the second I see <laughs> the one on the left. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's a demotion, no matter what. But I think this, is, this is why when you when hey, you do get married, wild. Club, you're supposed to love somebody for more than just what they look like. So hopefully that would be well, in her corner as well. You to love you for what more than what I you can't but lie. You can't even like get that. it out. You st 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 stuttering. What's I up with you? I gotta love you. Mm. Nah. Nah. Okay. The person I love is a liar. But <laughs> 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 you y'all like it. Y'all like it. I was just hold on because I was just having this conversation on my live 
on Tagged. If y'all don't follow me on it, you should check it out. But I was just having this conversation and literally they were, I was talking about me putting on makeup and I was saying like, we're doing this episode tonight. They're like, oh, I, I don't like makeup is what the dude said. And I'm like, how, what do you mean? Because you only respond to the post where I am done up. I have posted plenty of times without makeup and I never get a dang, gee, what you trying to do later? Dang, or beautiful, gorgeous. No, I don't get that when I'm natural. I get that when I'm done up, when I have the makeup on. So y'all, y'all feed into this as well. Oh, yeah, so what's up sure. with that? Hold yourselves accountable in that aspect. Speak for no, the that's fellas. not us. That's not us. That's them. They stupid. That's they don't want to know right from wrong. So Thank when's you. the last when's that's the last time you commented on a woman's actual true natural appearance, including no filters? If a woman look good, she look good. If you look that's good it. natural, you look good. If you look good with makeup, you but look what good. Is you're, good because you're deflecting. That's you're not, you're not answering the question. When ha okay. And you know that she actually has no makeup on, no yeah. filters. When is the yeah. last time either of you have compli complicated, yesterday, complimented yesterday, a woman? Yesterday in three, the, but are they, how many yesterday are they at 3.41 p.m.? Are you on sure I you never did it. So. On? on Facebook. You're yeah, sure he, she had no I wish you could. I, I don't want to out you, Shorty, I, but I wish you could pull up a picture because a lot no, of no, no, people say shit. that. Oh, so you're lying because you said when, not because you said when. Like, like, I've complimented, I've complimented females that don't got makeup on that you like, know for a fact. Yeah, I know you ain't got no makeup on. Like, I, you I know, know you got no makeup on. What you mean? Like, I've seen them before in real life, I've seen them with and without makeup on. Okay. No, I ain't never. But did I don't that. really do comments. Like I don't really comment on social media. Like that. But in person, in person, yeah. Like, in person, Hold yeah. on. Okay, okay but no, you, I yeah, I want to hear from Jr. because he's saying you've you've never complimented a woman in her natural state. I could care less about your natural state or your uh, your makeup state. To be honest with you, I care less as long as you look good around me. I, that's all I care about. So if you in natural state and I say you look good, it's not because you're in natural state. It's because you look good. And if you with makeup and I say you look good, it's not because you got makeup on. It's because I think you look good. Okay, that's, that's, it. So, that's, that's valid. That's, but that also deflects from the question because well, yeah. maybe it doesn't deflect from. Well, the well, question the answer is I never it have. Kinda it kind of it kind of does because that's the topic we're talking about. If they got makeup, no, 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 but 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 I'm right asking, though. So the majority and, and the other ladies can sound off for me in y'all's DMs and y'all's responses to your photos and your things like that. The, the, the type of responses you get when you are done up with your makeup done, your hair done, that, that whole thing versus when you're in your natural state, our hair could still be done and just no makeup on. We can still have jewelry, just no makeup on. And I, yeah. do you guys get the same sort of reception? Only from people that I know personally. Exactly. Shelly? I'm thinking. Because, you know, I rarely post. But, yeah, only if I'm in natural state and I happen to post a cameo photo of myself. Mm, yeah. They're, they're okay. not responding. They're not responding as much. Okay. But. They don't. Oh, okay. I'll say this for me. They don't openly respond, but I be getting a whole new friend, a lot of new friend requests. Same difference. Mm. Tomato, tomato. You know, and you know what? Let me go ahead and just clarify the definition of natural state. So, in my natural state, what I define natural is no weave, no lashes, no makeup. I am never, ever, ever in my raw natural state with anybody unless my family my boyfriend and that's it so the people who've only given me compliments who have ever seen me in that raw state are people that i personally personally know and if it's on the opposite sex end there's few and far between that have ever seen me in that raw state that's valid that's valid so well, I, we had we do have a spectrum because you you rarely show people in your natural state. I'm an in-betweener. I do both very frequently. And Shelly rarely does a lot of makeup. So we do. I'm glad that we have these different sorts of perspectives on here. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not going to lie. I like that, though. And, and, and it kind of pissed me off one time. This guy said, see, I was out at the club one time. We talked about this. He, he did. Like, he said, 
He said, hey, how you doing? I saw him good. He was like, you know what? See, if girls could just look like you, you know, you know, all natural and stuff like that, you know, it will be good. And I said, I got offended like a motherfucker. Like, motherfucker, I spent 40 minutes on this goddamn makeup. What the fuck you mean, natural? I ain't come out here looking natural. I came mm -hmm. out here full face. But see, to him, it was natural. Even though I contoured my nose, my eyes, my chin, all that kind of stuff, it was still natural to him. So for him mm -hmm. to give me the compliment, he literally thought that that was my natural state, which still is a lie, because it's not my natural state. You said thank you, though, didn't you? Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that's a compliment. Stop playing. You know that was hey, a good compliment. But it's a misguided one. I mean, you did your makeup hey, real she good. Wanted, hey, she was trying to avoid the fact that she appreciated that shit. She liked that shit. She that means like, no, that mean, you did I mean, a good I mean, ass I job. Liked it. I liked it because it was still a compliment. But for him mm -hmm. to say that my makeup was natural, that's not the look I was going for. That's what I'm trying to get. That's not, I wasn't going for natural. Oh, so you messed up. I want no. I didn't mess up. I wasn't going for natural. To G and Shelly, this is not natural. This yeah. is oh. what you was going done for. What you was going for? Huh? What you was going for? I was going for like full glam, like contour. Okay. Like, no, this I, is this oh, yeah, is interesting. This is interesting because you, you guys cheekbones high. Hold on, because I I want to I want to get into this. I want to lean into this. Let's play a little game. All right, fellas. Okay. <laughs> I want you to guess how I much like makeup. Games. We have on between the three of us. Who's gonna go first? Like rated <laughs> most to leave. Matter of fact, oh, I feel like we should have a separate chat for the ladies. I think um, you need to. I think you need to cancel Zoe camera out because she's like, <laughs> see, hey. he's always getting up, getting up. Look, I, I can. I, I got this. It's easy. I got this. It's easy. It's I'm bad easy. at that. I'm bad at that. I'm. I'm bad. At, I can't. I, I mean, and we and we not in person. That's another thing that's gonna make it worse. So it it's like I can't tell how much y'all doing. Don't, I can't. I can't necessarily say. I just say what I. I, 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 I can see what's like the inevitable. Like I, I know what I. I can see right now. Like like, uh, like Vicky. I could tell you have lashes on. I could tell G got lashes on. And Shelly, you don't look like you have lashes on unless your glasses are hiding it. But other than that, like I can't really. I'm I'm bad at that. If it's not a person, because can. I can see, I can, I know what makeup look like. I grew up with sisters, so I could tell if you got makeup on in person. But on camera, I can't see that shit. You should be able to tell. So Shelly got eyeshadow on. I see it glamming right now. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all sparkling. You feel me? I see you. Uh, <laughs> I see you, Vicky. Your I eyebrows, you. they they not symmetrical. So I know you got your eyebrows done. I know that for sure. They look Don't good. Though. You out, boy. They not supposed to be symmetrical now. They Calm not down now. Cousins. They look good though. I told you they look good. I now. Don't let me take that. it back. But they still look good. Even if I take it back, they still look good. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I think I see a little blush on G. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, eczema. My face just red. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna say that though. <laughs> Uh, y'all skin do look moisturized, so I do know a little, you know, what yeah. Saying? All y'all skin different. do look moisturized. I will say that it do got a little shine. Like, all y'all got that shine, um, right there. I see it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, damn, that shit hard, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I sounded confident, didn't I? Though, <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> so I was like, he gonna get it. I was like, oh, he got this. <laughs> I'm gonna say, 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 I'm that was my eyebrows were asymmetrical. Okay. Look, look, <laughs> look. I'm look, Shelly. I think Shelly has probably the least amount. Probably though, but I'm not a hundred percent sure though. I'm not really a hundred percent. Um, then I'm gonna have to say Vicky than G. I think G got more than Vicky. I don't think Vicky went full, full, full out. You know what I'm saying? But you can you can see different. I can see the. I can see the shadows on your nose and the lights in front of your face. It ain't supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I know you got that John right. Who are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about I, Vicky. Vicky, Vicky. Uh, Vicky I don't know. Uh, this is tough, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't never even seen a girl put makeup on before. I don't even be in there like that. So, okay. Now now I feel like, because I know, yes, Shelly definitely has the least amount of makeup out of all of us. What did you do to your face today, Shelly? Foundation, some shadows, and some lipstick. Now you did foundation, right? Oh my God. Well, you ain't put no eyeshadow on. 
I said eyeshadows. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll trip. I'll buy that. You was going to get upset and, if he didn't get that. Right. I was now listen, upset. The only reason I do have eyeshadows on is because I wear glasses and the light shines off the glasses and it kind of messes with my eyes. So the eyeshadow kind of helps bring it down and makes it look like I'm just not sitting here with um mirrors. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. All right they shine then, so I like it, yeah. He guessed Nikki, what you do. second. What did you do? Yeah, what'd you do? I have on primer, I have concealer, I have foundation, I have powder, I have on highlighter, and I put like I have like two moles like right here and right here. Right, right. So I to put like makeup on it and make it darker, to make them stand out. Um, mm -hmm. and then I have on lashes and brows. Oh, yeah, yeah, I lost this. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. G. Okay, so I have all the things that Vicky does. I even I emphasize my little beauty mark that gets covered up with my makeup as well. Mm -hmm. I don't do powder, but I do setting spray. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I it's because I got eyeshadow and I have blush and I have highlight. I think you said highlight, but I have blush on too contour full foundation all that stuff so i you were right actually jr i technically have you the most right. because of the eyeshadow and the blush what's the prize though what's up no, nothing i was just trying to see well, if y'all could actually suss out oh, oh, it's don't to see. It's a lot of because no because a lot of men don't actually know what makeup looks like like vicky said they'll walk around and be like oh i like her in her natural state and she took 30 to 45 minutes to get in said natural state so the fact that jr can actually pick up on who may have the most is actually whoa, whoa. congratulations so don't just put me by myself now that he said he didn't know he couldn't he tell on camera look it was it was a mind thing he was telling uh, me like hey don't uh, get this you know what i'm saying it was real yeah. It was, it was connected. <laughs> so I want to know like the consensus from men. If so it's clearly across the board, it's an issue with men when they feel like we are not showing what we truly look like. So in a perfect world, I don't think that you guys would want us to never wear makeup. Let's be real about that. I don't think that you would never want us to wear makeup. So in a perfect world, where's the balance? If you look what? good without makeup. Nah, 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 nah. Everybody, nobody's hair. perfect. You know the amount, you know the percentage of women that. who look I get that. good I'm without not, I'm not makeup? Coming from, I'm not coming from a place where like you have to always look perfect in your natural state. I'm just saying like if you, if you just naturally beautiful and you don't need makeup, it wouldn't bother me if you don't never wear that shit. No, nah, you gotta wear that shit a little bit. You gotta wear that shit sometimes. Now, I was gonna say, what what's the balance that you guys would look for to where you don't feel like a girl just pulled an okie doke on you and you wouldn't be upset about what she looks like in her natural state? No, nah, you gotta pull that okie doke. I'm sorry, you gotta. I gotta take that L sometimes, bro. Like I'm, I'm. Look, I lot of women all the time. They gotta take that L too. That's like the same way for me. <laughs> I gotta take that L. If I wake up and I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> then that's just what I gotta take, you know what I'm saying? That's that's it. That is what it is. I, I can't you can't get mad at it, bro. So you would want to invest all of this time, all of this energy to just wake up one morning and catch her before she looks the way you're used to her seeing and just be like, ah damn, that's a L. Okay, nice knowing you. And then you leave. I put a hundred percent in everything I do. If I put a hundred percent of the woman I'm talking to and I'm committed to, and then I found out, you know what I'm saying, she she not as attractive as I thought she was. It is what it is. I got to hold that L and then I got to keep it going. She get demoted. But he looked like he'll push him out in the pool to see if they going to melt or not. I, ain't gonna I would never put my hands on a woman. Vicky, I would, I would never. I'm going to push your ass in the pool. I'm going to push your ass in the pool. Girl, get up out of there. I'm going to push your ass slap in the pool. No, you look like you'd be like, I'm going to get in the pool and baptize you a couple times. You could slap in the pool. I'm going to get in the pool and baptize you a couple times. You you look like you could be friends somebody. I'm going to baptize you a couple times too. No, my God. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. You can't, like, he'll, he'll, look, you can't look disrespectful with it. He'll put his finger on her face. Ha <laughs> girl, you funny. And then wipe off. I ain't mean to do that. And make a face. You do, you know, do you know that no, that happened that. to me one that. time? 
I not mean, like not like that but okay story time for a second ladies because mm-hmm. sometimes it's inevitable i put on a full beat went over to this man's house he popped a bottle of champagne y lo que pasó fue, when he popped it he almost took my eye out shout out you luckily i dodged it but the spray and it was burning my eyes i had my fake lashes on my eyeliner everything and i'm sitting there like oh my god oh my god when i go look in the mirror everything's off i had to wipe my entire face off so and this was at the very beginning i go home of the dates i, I took i hey i took yeah, the that l date was over. no i took the l I, 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 I stayed, I chilled. Oh, you like we him. had a we had a great night. Yeah, you, yeah, you like him. I couldn't go out like that. I couldn't yeah, go out did. like that. Yeah, you like um, him. Yeah, you liked him. I probably would have started arguing. It was a it was like a 45 minute drive, <laughs> 45 to an hour drive. So I'm not, and then I was hungry at that point. Oh, Just yeah, go ahead yeah, and yeah. pass me the bottle of champagne, send me to dinner, and let's let's have <laughs> a good night. Like, and, and you was like, I'm gonna play. Let me gonna play. What you telling me you had champagne on a first date? Yeah. Oh, he- see. Oh no, 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 no. Technically, 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 we had already met up, so I guess that was the first date. But this was like more of like a date date. So was it at his house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, y'all got freaky. Oh, no, we didn't yeah. get freaky. <laughs> actually, oh, yeah. actually, I got freaky. we didn't get freaky. Hey, well, he, he bought the bottle of champagne. Nah, and y'all he ain't get freaky. He, <laughs> <out with laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Wet, he, he may he may well, run into this. It did, but it did. Um, no, 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 no. We didn't get freaky. No. <laughs> and who the fuck is I, I, excuse my language? But who the fuck is getting freaky off a of goddamn champagne? Who ain't never had that shit before? Right. Come on now, let's be real. Hey, oh, so first of all, it ain't got nothing to do with. First of all, it's, it's the first you, day. You pop out champagne to celebrate, though. It's it's like a celebration. I mean, I thing. mean, yeah, true. But for him to say y'all got freaky from champagne, are you kidding me? Yeah, for the, if I, if, first of all, if I do a first date, right? If I do a first date, well, it was technically a second. But, mm-hmm. Well, even if if this is the first time we get to be somewhat intimate together, as in like just uh, emotions or just you know being in each other's presence mm-hmm. and i pull out any type of champagne then that means we celebrating something and that gotta end and getting freaky if it don't end in getting freaky you probably ghosted he ghosted you didn't he why would you say that i'm trying to ask a good question i'm very honest I ain't gonna lie Come on, G, that's let's that's be you honest. know what you that's know what question. that was the last time that we hung out that was uh, these, oh. I try to see and I try to save these women. That's I'm not the last you. time he talked to me, but that is the last time. All right, Dr. Out. Phil. Why right, would he want to a... hang out if he I'm not a... if he can't get freaky? I'm gonna throw in a flag on a play on that one. I'm Uh-oh. sorry. I got I got to uh, oh, wait a minute, Shelly. Okay. Sh- no, no, let Shelly talk. No, 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 Shelly. Shelly, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm calling the flag on the play because there are some caliber of men that they will pop bottles without any problems and have no expectations at the end of the night and they don't ghost you. So to sit there and say that these guys are going to ghost you because you ain't giving it up at the end of the night, I'm sorry, it's a misnomer. Ladies, for listening, you ain't got to give up the cookies unless you want to. She so. ain't smashing on the first night. She, she automatically demoted. <laughs> I'm demoting her again. Whoa. Okay, okay, hold on, pause. I'm a- That's crazy. The only reason I'm throwing a flag on this play because it's a great conversation, except we just dropped an episode on that and we are getting a little bit off topic. There we so go. wrapping things up, because I think we were towards the end of it all, right? Fellas were given advice on what their preference would be. JR, you said that you want your girl to wear makeup sometimes. Well, in between well, her, some, a wobbler, wobbler. Yeah, there you go. In, okay. in between her though. You want to help me make tell her to do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not in, not in that way. Not in that. Okay. I'm talking about if I'm about to take her out to a good, like a nice meal or mm-hmm. like we going on a date or something like and I, I got a whole thing planned out. I'm going to tell her what she need to wear. If it's going to be casual, if it's going to be a little more formal, whatever okay. it needs to be. Nice. I'm going to let her know like she got to do that. Yeah. I like, I like that. that. Fellas, take notes because y'all better be doing Please. that every time. Yeah. Um, Zoe, you don't said do what you you're... say. Demote her, though. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Well, I'm for the fellas. We giving a fella for the fellas. For the fellas. Hey, for the fellas. Hey, for the fellas. For the fellas. Dog? 
for the fellas did. Anyways, is there any lasting thoughts? I, like, like I said with the last episode, these episodes are not going to be like conclusion or anything like that. This is just us sharing our opinion, our thoughts, and opening up the conversation for you guys there at home. Um, anybody have any lasting thoughts about this? Any advice for anybody out there? I do. I, I want to say something that Shelly said earlier, and I want to make sure people understood it very well, which is you are a reflection of your your other. You're you're literally a reflection of your other. How you present yourself, you're a reflection of your other. And um, men, we find a lot of pride in our relationships because since we do control it and we do give it, we definitely have a big sense of pride towards it. And the way you look is huge towards our relationship. It is just a big thing. Whether we like it or not, it is a big thing. And you being a reflection of him, like you must be perceived as such, as someone with high standard and someone that people look highly of. Same thing as a man, you know, he should be a reflection of his woman, someone who is very much respected. So I think what she said, we kind of went over a little bit, glossed over it, but I really wanted to be in there that makeup is not a bad thing. I don't think that for some men who thinks a bad thing, it is whatever, you know, they, they're they very childish in my opinion, but makeup is not a bad thing. At the end of the day, you want to present yourself the best because, you know, with preparation, comes opportunity and if they both meet then there's success so i think it's still good hey uh, round of applause for that one i like that right? you know what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the news. anybody the news. else the anything else no um quiet it's okay if you ain't got any lasting thoughts zoe Most you're real really? quiet you was talking hella shit now you really real. <laughs> all right i'm just gonna make sure i wasn't talk i wasn't really talking shit i wasn't talking shit but, no, um, yeah. Yeah. I think, huh? No, no, you go, Zoe. Uh, but nah, for sure. He did hit it on the head. Uh, your reflection of your, your partner. Um, and men do really do take pride. Like, to be able to be like, yeah, I chose this. Yeah, this is what I chose right here. So, yeah, like it feels good to be able to be proud about it. Like nobody able to look at you and be like, "Damn, bro, you chose that." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That hurt. You feel me? So, yeah. Uh, you want to go, Vicky? Yeah, I would say like my lasting thought would be at the end of the day, you have to love yourself more than anything else. If you're gonna put on makeup, put on makeup because it's you know it's a good thing for yourself don't ever do something that's going to make your partner i get to do something that makes your partner happy but don't let that justify your relationship or justify who you are as a person because of this makeup you are not your makeup your makeup you have to apply that on your make you 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 know you build yourself so don't ever lose yourself don't get lost in the makeup don't let nobody make you feel bad about wearing it. Just make sure you love yourself overall as a person before you put it on. Make sure you love, make sure your partner loves you for who you are with or without it. And don't let it be defined by if you're having it or not. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I'm just going to end with a couple of things. First of all, beauty is an eye of the beholder. There is somebody out there for everybody no matter how small it may be when it comes to makeup you want to be true to yourself and you want to make sure that you're finding a partner that is true to yourself makeup enhances us your partner should enhance you that was fast that's i like that honestly i think all my co-hosts were able to uh summarize that perfectly i have literally nothing to add except thank you guys for showing up for another episode of life with you podcast we are so close to our 100 subscriber goal so don't forget to share with your friends and your peoples and all that stuff run it up vessels blessings have a good night it's a man's job in the relationship other than to go out and make money protect what, what else do you guys have to provide protect how often are y'all in a situation see this is the shit that i love this is the shit that i love right Hi, ladies i'm talking to the ladies now y'all ever realize that what a man wants from a woman right we gotta cook we gotta clean we gotta make sure we drain his motherfucking balls and look good while doing it right we gotta yeah, show right. that we a good mother we're yeah. nurturing we're all these things we gotta be there yeah, mom yeah, right. half the time but out there 
Let yeah. me finish. But uh-huh. what what do we look for a man? Oh, he's got to make money. He's got to be a provider. Most of the time, we have our own job now. So let's take that out of the equation. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. It doesn't take much to be considered a good father. So we're going to start there. Also, the fact what? that little, hold on, little shit, little shit like, oh, baby, if he doesn't open the doors for you, he's not a real man. Oh, if he's not sitting here going to the outside and you walking on the inside, how often are you men put in a position where you truly have to act on being the protector of the family? Okay, I'll answer. Are y'all's houses getting all broken the into all the time? Is somebody trying up your woman all the time? Now, how often does a woman have to play her role every single day? So it's That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, then I'll answer your question with something very simple that I think everybody can understand. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That is exactly what it comes down to. If you're ever in a situation to where you do need a man, guess what? He's there to put his life on the line, to die for you. So for you to sit there and say, well, that's not enough until you do need it, then it's enough. But it's cool, though. So we can be unappreciative. This? Let's try this. Let's try it's this. not unappreciative. Hold what on, I'm saying on, is men, on, need, to, men need to start contributing more than just, as, okay, I'm the, I'm the protector. But how often are you having to step up in that way? Because we love to talk about the physicality the of it. Are you protecting me from these other bitches and their STDs while you're slinging dick around? Are you protecting mm, me from you, you being emotionally unstable? We talked about this. I'm not packing your condos. <laughs> are you are you protecting your mental, your spiritual, that you're leading us? Are hey, you protecting your financial? Uh, are you more. protecting us in every facet of actually protecting your household and leading your household? Or are you satisfied with doing the nine to five? And in the off chance that you have to physically protect me, you can do so. Thank you so much, baby. What about the rest? Oh, I'm so sorry that you're at home with the kids putting the old clothes and the Not washing all of us machine are at to home. wash it. Or you putting it into the dishwasher to wash the dishes. Or you're using a vacuum to, to do that. I am so sorry that these man-made items for women to make their life easier have been so gosh darn difficult for you. For you to sit here and tell me you going there to work, having to die, possibly, depending on your job. That's a, just not ball enough. Game. that's a different ball game. That's a different ball game. Well, let's talk about most jobs. Most dangerous jobs in America. Men. Say that again. That's say that again. Field, you said that's a different ball game, but that's the field that you decided to walk in just now. That, you sure did. Oh, that right okay, there. If you right, want to talk about right. it, we want to talk about it. We understand that men have a very difficult life. We understand that women don't even want to be in a man's life. Women, y'all get your value at birth. People are already going to want to take care of you, protect you, love you, save you at birth. Men have to earn their value. We have to yeah. literally earn it. You gotta create you sit it. here and say, oh, well, you know, y'all barely ever use it. It's like, what do you mean? We find a reason to live. Y'all find things to die for. That is a difference. I'll allow that. You know, JR, I'll give you some flowers. You know, I'll allow that. I'll give them to you. What kind of you like? Daisies. And I do want to preface this by not everything that I say I firmly believe in, but I do like to play every aspect and things that I've heard as well. So um, I, sure. I will say that. I will say that. I think a man should definitely respect and cherish his woman. And uh, that's why I personally think that all women should be loved. You know what I'm saying? But right now, the way it looks, a lot of women are going to die alone. If we go off of women, mindset which is the soulmate one person women are going to die alone but if you go off of what's going on a lot of men should have multiple women we should have multiple and women. here we, we go oh. and care of, take care of and protect hey. multiple women. So, hey. what was the other what was the other um thing that you said the idea you don't want to talk about polygamy Oh, we did, yes, yes, but we're we're going to we are going to have a conversation about that um in another episode that we've so on the this started episode, about makeup <laughs> So on the next episode, 